What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're going to check out sad news for Drew McIntyre, adult WWE Raw, Jay Uso Stalker, SmackDown, three hours, other wrestling news. Now, a uh, few of these I actually did hear about um, from some of you guys on Instagram and Twitter. Um, so, we're going to kind of go uh, check this video out and get a deep dive of exactly what was going on in on some of these situations that I did hear about um appreciate all love and support you guys have shown on the channel if you haven't already subscribe to wrestlemania original video link uh to the original video will be down below we're gonna get right into this one man what is going on guys it is wrestlemania here back with some more news join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know including cm punk will appear on AEW collision smackdown going to three hours the third oh, hour to be adult wwe preparing fans for bray wyatt's return Sad news for Drew McIntyre, a stalker doxes Jey Uso, a former star not happy with WWE exit, Goldberg has an injury on his farm, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. And now listen to the intro and get straight into our first story. Let's get into it, man. See what's going down. Our first story looks at CM Punk appearing on AEW Collision. There's more news concerning AEW and CM Punk and recent rumours that Punk may not return to AEW as originally planned, but now you've likely heard the murmurings that AEW and Punk reached an impasse over Punk wanting his friend A Steel to join him on the road and AEW telling Definitely Punk that Steel this. is not allowed at any AEW shows. There have also been rumours that Punk won't be at the debut of AEW's new Collision show and that AEW is preparing to move it from Chicago if things don't pan out. Finally, you may have heard that AEW sent legal papers to Punk, the nature of which is subject to speculation, but which has led some fans and pundits to suspect AEW carried out an ultimatum. Mm. However, the new site House of Wrestling reports that things aren't as bad as what's being reported, so we're all under the impression that CM Punk was going to be the leader of the show, and then immediately it's like, oh well, actually, maybe he might not be. And then some fake rumors came out about Daly's place in the United Center, and all this stuff going on, but it seems as though we're all systems go tomorrow. House of Wrestling is referring to the 24th May edition of Dynamite, where it's believed AEW President Tony Khan will provide an update on the venue for AEW Collision's debut. What are the legal papers that AEW reportedly sent to Punk? Arcade Side Seeds Randall Ottman noted, According to Fightful Select, the documents AEW sent to CM Punk were for contractual purposes to cover an issue that may arise upon their working relationship moving forward. It would appear then that his return is still moving ahead at this time. Now, there's already speculation that the legal documents may contain provisions regarding penalties should Punk no-show any events or break AEW's rules against talent making certain comments on social media. AEW is taking a chance with Punk showing up and it makes sense that they would want to protect themselves should they decide to no-show the event. Given the volatility of this situation, it's important to remember that things can change on a dime. Next up, SmackDown. Yeah, man, this is, this is crazy. Uh... I'm filming this on Thursday, so I actually didn't even check out um, the Go Home show on Dynamite um, for their pay-per-view event this Sunday. I will try to check it out. I know NXT is also having their uh, their event as well this upcoming Sunday, so I'm going to try to check them out. Um, I just, me personally, I've been checking out AEW kind of off-screen clips and in different segments here and there. I just hadn't really been that interested, but I will still try to check out their event this weekend um but honestly the talk has been more so not what's on going on on television the behind the scenes stuff tony khan gotta get this together bro this is just tony khan gotta get it together <laughs> the fact that they have another show punk was slated to be you know the i guess you the the figurehead for the new show and then things kind of went awry there for their press conference and stuff like that and it's just like yeah they gotta get it together they have to it's crazy that we're still talking about CM Punk outside of what you know outside of the ring rather than inside of the ring like they gotta he has to get a, a, a control over the talent you know what I'm saying he has to be the guy to be like yeah this is how it's gonna go because I'm paying all you guys millions either you like it or you or you you don't you can leave simple as that so we'll see how things play out hopefully that new show uh you know um 
can uh i guess you could say give them some good ratings it's gonna be very interesting to check out a wrestling show on a saturday night it's been quite some time since we've seen that consistently on uh network television so it's gonna be interesting to see how it plays out but tony khan gotta get a control over this he should have been had a control over this quite some time but it's he gotta he gotta work on just being the boss not the fan you know down to three hours. Mm -hmm. Those interesting talk comments about coming from WWE President Nick Khan, who recently appeared at a JP Morgan Technology mm -hmm. Media and Communications Conference event, where he discussed the WWE product, including whether the company is open to expanding SmackDown from a two-hour show to a three-hour show. Jeez. Khan commented, we're still open to a third hour for SmackDown. According to Ringside News, he talked up Amazon. He said SmackDown as well as Raw can go on any night of the week. Some fans commented that if SmackDown stays on Fox, a third hour would cut into Fox Affiliate's 10 p.m. local news broadcast. Mm. However, the WWE is doing so well right now that Fox is just one of the many possible locations. Next up, a third... Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm not. Um, I We've already talked about it. I'm good on Raw, SmackDown being two hours. I wish Raw could be two hours, but obviously they're not going forward with that. As you can see, what we're about to talk about next. But yeah. Smackdown, keep it at two hours. I'm okay with it. I know some of you guys want it to be three hours, but for me, that's just so much wrestling. Wrestling fatigue is a real thing. I'm good on it. Two hours, short, sweet, straight to the point. Raw hour to be adult. Oh, and it can't also address the subject that's been brought up before. Whether Raw's third hour might feature more adult content, such as added violence or even blood. According to Brandon Thurston from WrestleNomics, Nick Khan discussed Raw at the TMC conference. Raw is three hours. We don't anticipate that changing. Yeah. They're in discussions about what to do with a 10 to 11 p.m. hour, whether to make it more adult. Like a third hour of SmackDown, a more adult oriented third hour of Raw has been discussed before. Yeah. As we pointed out before, the WWE seems content with its current product in terms of how far it goes with so called mature themes, especially in light of the increasing number of blue chip advertisers it attracts and lucrative sponsorship deals. Next yeah, up, bro, what's the point of saying more adult? We. They they tried to do this before. You guys remember that? When they tried to, Raw is going to get a little bit more adult. All they did was turn down the lights. <laughs> I remember that. We didn't forget. They said the same thing a few years back. Yeah, the third hour of Raw is going to be a little bit more extreme, a little bit more greedy. Oh, they just turned down the lights. That's it, bro. It's not. You want to know why it's not? Because sponsors advertising it's still a pg product the only time they'll get a little bit more adult themish they change that rating to maybe a tv 14 pg 14 or whatever you know like or no tv 14 i think that's what it's called that's when they'll probably get a little bit more on the adult side but once again sponsors money uh they're not doing that so <laughs> wwe preparing for bray wyatt's return are they preparing for Bray Wyatt's return? Well, that's the question some fans are asking after an eagle-eyed fan posted a short clip from Raw when a befuddled Adam Pearce called Triple H for help mm. with Cody Rhodes. In the clip, you can see a QR code. However, a sports key denoted. However, due to the faint WWE Live logo appearing on the bottom right section of the screen and Adam Pearce covering up the image, this led to many fans saying that they were unable to scan the code when it appeared on their mm. screen. As we noted in our Night of Champions rumors video, the WWE Saudi show is an ideal venue to bring Wyatt back as it would pop the crowd and give him a high profile return. Yeah. Of course, if the QR code is related to Wyatt, it may be the beginning of another extended tease for his return, which may not happen for weeks. While there's been confusion about Wyatt's status in the WWE, it's believed the WWE is still planning to utilize him once he returns from his medical related absence. Next All up right. is Logan. We'll, we'll see how that plays out. Hopefully it doesn't play out the same way it did before, man. Uh, you know, I want them to be on television. They just got to have it concise. All this extra hippity hoobla. It, it, and especially if it don't go nowhere. It, no, he needs to have a concise idea. What is Bray Wyatt's motives? What he's trying to obtain? And we go from there. All this extra stuff. It, it looks cool theatrically. But we need him to have a... a at point A, point B, point C. You know, straight. What does he want to gain? What is he trying to become? What he, what does he want to do in WWE and go from there? Everything else, all the supernatural stuff, you can have it. But just rein it in. 
You know what I'm saying? Don't don't make it so convoluted that we don't even know what's Bray's real motive, you know? Logan Paul returning soon? Now fans of Logan Paul would be happy to know that the Maverick is set to return at WWE soon. Russell Votes recently reported that I have sources telling me that he works two pay-per-views this summer, the London show Money mm. in the Bank and then obviously SummerSlam. Okay. It's almost expected that he's on those cards and the only creative that I could find out is that he's likely to be inside the Money in the Bank match, wow. not a guarantee. <laughs> now, although Logan Paul isn't a full-time competitor, he's oh fairly God. active for a celebrity turned wrestler and the WWE capitalizes <laughs> on his fame when it comes to promoting big oh events and both Money in the God. Bank and SummerSlam <laughs> certainly qualify as big. <laughs> yep, he, I can see him being, but some people are going to feel so slighted by that. And I understand this nigga is going to be potentially be in the money in the bank ladder match. Would he, I think he's going to have a good showing. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not, I'm not going to sit up here and pretend, oh, he shouldn't be in it. I think he's going to have a good showing. I think he's going to be one of those standouts. I just don't want him to win it for sure. No, do not win it. Don't have him win it. But. I can understand other people's point like, damn, he's only had a few matches. Now he's in money in the bank. Like, what about the people that's been there for years and finally may get a an opportunity to show showcase their talents and stuff like that in that high profile match? And it's a, a spot's being taken up by Logan Paul. I get it. But at the same time, I think we can see something special there. I think we can see something good because Logan Paul is going to give it his all. He's going to give it his all. So I, I'm i not doubting the guy in the ring. Every match he's had so far has been fucking fantastic. Seriously, it's incredible to say. So I'm not doubting the guy. I just know I can understand other wrestlers and other people being like, damn, that's kind of messed up he, how he gets an opportunity just like that because of his name and his brand. So I understand it. But at the same time, I'm not going to get mad if he's in it. I just know he shouldn't win it. Now, if he wins it, now we have a problem. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm it down, Triple H and Vince. Whoa. But if he's just in it, has a good showing, I'm okay with it. Next up, sad news for Drew McIntyre as his sister-in-law passes away. I did hear about a sad this, news to report is Drew McIntyre's sister-in-law, Ashley, has passed away. Here's an excerpt from a Facebook post revealing the news. It is with the heaviest of hearts that we inform you that of the sudden passing of Ashley. She was so deeply loved as a daughter, sister, niece, cousin and friend to so many. She was an incredibly smart, beautiful and caring person who fought for the inclusion of others and was proud to be an advocate for those less fortunate. Her passing left a void in our lives that cannot be filled. And many fans and Drew's fellow wrestlers sent their condolences course, to Drew and his course. family via social media. We'd also like to pass our condolences to Drew and his family. Next up, uh, big facts, big facts. Rest in peace to Drew McIntyre's uh, uh, sister-in-law, man. It's it's tough losing someone, especially you know, you know, you know, when two families come together. You know, it's it's always a good good feeling and a a good sign when the families are able to get along and you're creating something a bigger family, a bigger unit. And then when you lose somebody. On either side, it's it's always tough. So sending prayers and condolences to the family and to Drew, man. Um, once again, we always say it, cherish life because you never know when your time is up, you know. So enjoy it while you can. Now, this one, I definitely heard about this. This is very weird, but I don't know the details. So we're about to check this particular uh, new segment out or story out. Allegedly doxes Jey Uso. Jey Uso is reportedly dealing with a stalker, the latest wrestler to have to deal with someone apparently obsessed with him. Ringside News reported the female allegedly leaked oh, Jey's whoa. home address. In addition, she posted some creepy videos, including one where... This is for everybody commenting on my videos about Jey Uso. The woman was seen waking up next to a Jey Uso action figure and kissing it. Naturally, a lot of fans are also concerned for Jey Uso's safety and condemn the women's actions. Hopefully, Jay and WWE can get this situation resolved as any stalking case has the potential for danger, something fans have seen happen far too often. Next Whoa, up. Oh, now hold on. Let me double check because the person who sent me this on Instagram, they showed me that. I don't know if this is the correct person's TikTok. Hold on. I gotta actually. I'm doing this live for you guys. 
person, shout out to, uh, I'm not going to say his Instagram name because his Instagram name is kind of kind of weird. Uh, his nickname on there, but Cornelius, shout out to you, man. He always update me on a lot of the wrestling stuff. Um, so apparently, let's see if I go to it. Apparently that person's uh, TikTok that we just saw, um, Billy the Bully. Apparently they their account got banned. Uh, update the person who leaked his home address had their TikTok account banned because I, I guess he uh, leaked his home address or whatnot. Um, yeah, that's that's not what's up, man. That that's that's not what's up. And apparently she uh, I guess it got on. I think she leaked it on Reddit or whatnot. I believe she leaked it on Reddit. So once again, male or female, don't do that. Do not like go to the extremes to find dock someone and find their address and leak it and all this other stuff like chill that's not cool male or female it's not cool there's nothing wrong with admiring a wrestler and thinking the wrestler is cool and all this other stuff but when you start doxing people now you're you're crossing that line of all right man we got to get some legal involved we you 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 clearly don't care about a person's safety. You can't if you're doing that. And definitely if you see, you know, a wrestler out there, you know, saying it's cool, ask them if you can get a picture or whatever. But don't be trying to stalk them or anything like that. It's weird. It's creepy. It's not cool. So another WWE tag team missing in action. It's time for the latest edition of our Phantom Zone report where we look at a superstar or in this case, superstars absent from TV. Fans of Los Lotharios, of Humberto Correa and Angel Garza haven't seen much of the time, especially after they were drafted to Raw. So why aren't they on TV? Yeah, where are they? Meltzer addressed this on the recent Wrestling Observer Radio saying, they're low on the pecking order, I think that's pretty much it. They're there, but they just don't do anything with them, and they're talented guys too. As always. WWE's got a lot of talented guys, and some of them are. It's always going to be a case when some of them just aren't used, and I mean WWE, but AEW is the same way. Yeah, it is. Also discuss the possibilities for the tag team. So there's going to be people like that, and they could send them to NXT, I suppose, and that's not necessarily the worst idea, but right now they're kind of just like a lot of guys, they're just guys that are there. Shelton Benjamin, Cedric yeah. Alexander, just guys that are there, they're on the roster, and they just don't do anything with. With rumors that WWE may be trimming its roster, fans should hear about the that. possibility of WWE future endeavoring some of its less utilized teams. Next up, and they can use some more people in the tag team division. But that's neither here nor there. Was Star not happy with the WWE exit? Alicia Fox was actually recently released by WWE, but it appears she has some unfinished business to take care of. The former Divas champion appeared on the Muscle Man Malcolm show and she said she plans on doing some training at Booker T's wrestling school because okay. her in-ring career is far from over. We're out of the box. We're out. I was like, well, I got some things to take care of. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go knock some ring dust off with Booker. She also discussed a return to the squared circle and the WWE's decision to retire her. Girl, this appearance has been eye-opening. I didn't put my face on that alumni section. I never said that. My bags are still packed pissed about it Damn. so this is what i'm thinking so i'm talking to booker and charmel and then i'll go do that then we'll go knock on trin's house and then sasha's house a fox sounds like she's open and knocking the forbidden door and wrestling both trinity aka naomi and mercedes money aka sasha banks mm. would you guys like to see a return to the ring let us know in the comments down below and finally goldberg injured on his farm Last but not least, Bill Goldberg is showing off the results of an impromptu match he had on his farm as he battled <laughs> a piece of heavy machinery. According to TMZ Sports, a rep for the wrestling legend tells TMZ Sports Goldberg was getting work done on his property when he accidentally locked his noggin on his tractor, opening Whoa. up a big gash near his forehead. The Hall of Famer shared a post-match picture on his Instagram. But there you have it, folks. Oh, wow, this new story Only Goldberg can find a way to bust himself open at home bro at home you gotta love it man gotta love it but yeah man this was a crazy video comment down below let me know how y'all felt about anything that was talked about on this video man I, I appreciate all love and support you guys have shown on channel road 250k and i'm still the undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one